Tout a commencé avec lui, du temps de Bernard Montessier, avec lequel il avait navigué. Lui, c'est Sir Robin Knox Johnston, le premier homme à avoir fait un tour du monde en solitaire, sans escale et sans assistance. C'était en 1968, il y a 50 ans. Dans un bateau de 10 mètres, il a mis 312 jours pour finir son tour du monde. Hello. Hello. I will just say it in French first. Vous êtes bonjour, je suis très honoré de vous rencontrer ici au Sable d'Olonne aujourd'hui, à côté de ces immenses bateaux, vous qui êtes une légende dans le monde entier. Vous êtes dans l'histoire de la navigation et de la voile et j'ai les mains qui tremblent quand je le dis. Le premier homme à avoir fait un tour du monde en solitaire, sans escale et sans assistance, c'était il y a 50 ans, en 1968. Vous avez navigué avec Bernard Moitessier, vous êtes une légende de la voile. Et, euh, et pour moi, c'est un immense honneur de pouvoir vous demander, en français d'abord, mais on va faire l'interview en anglais, comment vous vous sentez-vous ici, euh, 50 ans après que vous ayez été le pionnier Here, all these crowds, all these people are here because you opened the way somehow 50 years ago. How do you feel today in the big, in the middle of this huge boat? Who you, who sailed in a boat who was 10 meters long and you put 320 days to finish? I stopped my long question. No, 312. 312. 312. It's. I think it's fantastic. When you see how the boats have developed in that time, we've got these amazing machines, which are so quick, so fast, but the sailors have to be tough to sail them. So it's still a tremendous challenge for the sailors. It's just slightly different. <laughs> And in 68, when you did it, a 10 meters boat was a big boat for the time, I think. It was, yeah. It was about average. For the mm. time but we didn't know what the best boat was mm. now we know the open 60 is the best boat for this race oh really yeah. what was i know we are, you have been asked this question many and many and many times how how does it feel for you or or you don't think about to be a legend a, a legend in the selling to be the first ever i don't think about that all i think about is I meet some other single-handed sailors. Most of us are very good friends, and I enjoy their company. Are you still sailing today? Not enough. <laughs> Thank you very much. And last question: Are you following? Oh, sorry. Are you? Fa I am following one or another one of these. Was did you see them already? Well, I shall be following them when they get going. I shall follow it probably three or four times a day. Who? Uh, well, I shall watch Pip Hair. Ah, okay. Of course. Um, but uh, Sam, not Sam too. But there's some very good sailors here, and I think this is going to be a very tough and exciting race. And therefore, for a spectator, it's going to be a fantastic thing to watch. <laughs> thank you, thank you very much, Sir Robin. Enjoy your day in Les Sables d'Olonne. And th th they impress you the boats, or you just watch them like big cars? Does it, because sometimes they don't even look like boats anymore. Some of them. Ah, uh, they look like the modern boats. <laughs> I mean, you, what's interesting is to look round and see how people are handling things differently, how the designs are slightly different, how they've made their arrangements on the deck, on the pont, mm. to make the boat good for them. Very interesting just to learn, just to look. Did you, I don't know if you know, uh, one of the famous, most famous French sailors here, Jean Le Cam, yes. who is, uh, you know him, 60, yes. 60 years, he's the, he's the oldest one in this race at that time. Um, he made the choice to don't have foils. I remember. Uh, to, 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 to go with a normal boat. What do you think about this kind of uh, well, Jean, choice? Jean Le Cam is a very good sailor. And The rescue he performed in the last race was fantastic. Mm. Very good seamanship. And I think he, I think he finished fourth, didn't he? With a, yeah, I think. Well, that shows you how good a sailor he is. <laughs> yeah, I think Jean Le Cam um, did very well in the last race, and that should be encouraged for other people with smaller budgets. Mm. If you're a good enough sailor, you can still do well. Great. We'll see in this race what happens. Thank you so much, Sir Robin. Je vous en prie. Thank you.